week 17 of the fantasy football season. And if you made it to your Super Bowl and championship, congratulations. Here's a few mm-hmm. wide receivers. I looked at it on the wire this week. And at the time of recording this video, no one has been placed on the COVID list. And they're good to go. The first guy, Isaiah McKenzie of the Buffalo Bills. I know the Bills here had a few guys out on the protocol mm-hmm. list. Obviously, Gabriel Davis and Cole Beasley. But a guy coming off a huge game here like Isaiah McKenzie. I'm definitely going to recommend them. For people to pick him up. So right here the last few weeks here. He didn't do much besides this big ball game. At New England. Week 14 at Tampa Bay. A catch for 5 yards. Week 15 versus Carolina. Carry 8 rushing yards. A catch 7 yards. And then week 16. And a tough matchup on paper. At New England. He had a huge ball game. 11 catches. 125 yards. And a touchdown for McKenzie. So right here. If one of those guys. Either Davis or Beasley. Don't come back. Week 17, I think he could still have a decent role and he's worthy of a pickup, especially with a good matchup versus the Falcons. What the most fantasy points to wide receivers on the season? And McKenzie, he's available in 99% of fantasy weeks. And next guy's KJ Osborne of the Minnesota Vikings. So, right here, it looks like once again Adam Thielen's going to be out in the next game. He injured his ankle in this ball game and he left early. And you saw him cursing, obviously, on the sidelines frustrated and limping off so Osborne the last few weeks here he's definitely been fantasy worthy week 14 versus Pittsburgh three catches 83 yards a touchdown week 15 at Chicago three catches 21 yards and then week 16 versus the Rams five catches 68 yards and a touchdown so week 17 here it's a pretty tough matchup in Green Bay and it gives Steelman a little more time because it's a Sunday night football game at Green Bay, but right here, Osborne's been a favorite the last few weeks here, Kirk Cousins, and he's been good a number. He's been a good number three wide receiver as well for this team. But right now, Theo and Don will healthy. I don't think they're gonna push him here as Minnesota as their playoff hopes are dwindling quickly here. And Osborne, even if Theo comes back, he's definitely a receiver that could produce, and he's available right now. Is Osborne in sixty six percent? Of fantasy leagues, and I definitely would give him an ad this week. The next guy's Amal Lazard of the Green Bay Packers. So, Lazard, the last few weeks, he's emerging as a number two receiver in this offense, and it's desperately needed because obviously a lot of teams know majority of the throws and targets are going to go to Devontae Adams. But the last few weeks, he, Amal Lazard, has been a nice number two receiver for this Packer team. Week 14 for Chicago, one carry, 14 yards, six catches, 75 yards. And a touchdown. Week 15 at the Baltimore Ravens here. A carry, 5 yards, 2 catches, 23 yards. And then week 16 versus Cleveland. A carry, 13 yards, 2 catches, 45 yards. And a touchdown. So right here, most of the damage I know has been in the end zone. But they've also been using him as an end-around guy for a carry or two a game here is Lazard. I know Scantlin was out in this ball game. He was on the Cobra list. But in my opinion, I think Lazard's the more consistent and better receiver out of the two. And he's got an amazing matchup in Week 17 versus the Minnesota Vikings that give up the most fantasy points to receivers. So he's definitely a good pickup this week. And he's available in 76% of fantasy weeks. The next wide receiver I look to get this week is Braxton Berrios of the New York Jets. So the last few weeks here, mostly a special teamer is Berrios. But he's emerged as a receiver and a gadget guy in this Jet offense. Week 14... Versus New Orleans, six catches, 52 yards. Week 15 at the Dolphins in that one. A catch, 26 yards, two carries, 10 yards, a touchdown. And then week 16 versus Jacksonville, five catches, 37 yards, three rushing yards, and a return touchdown, which in most leagues obviously counts as six points. So week 17, very tough matchup for this Jet team versus the Tampa Bay Bucks. But the Bucks do give up the 13th most fantasy points to wide receivers. And this ball game. The Jets are going to be down quickly, two or three scores, obviously, versus Tampa Bay, most likely, unless something crazy happens. But anyway, they're going to have to throw the ball a lot. They like to use Emberios in a gadget way. I know Elijah Moore might be back soon for this Jet team here for the final couple games. But right now, Berrios has been playing good football, and there's no way the Jets could afford not to use him. They don't got many playmakers on this roster. And Berrios right now available in 94% of fantasy leagues is a receiver I would give an ad to this week and the fifth and final wide receiver I'd look to get on the wave of wire this week. So Rashad Bateman of the Baltimore Ravens. So Bateman, it's been an up and down rookie season for him this year. But the last two out of three weeks, he's been pretty productive 
as a decent option. Week 14 at Cleveland, 7 catches, 103 yards. Week 15 versus Green Bay, a catch for 5 yards. And week 16 at Cincinnati, 4 catches, 26 yards, and a touchdown. So right here, week 17, it's going to be a tough ball game for the Raven team, no matter who's the quarterback. Huntley Johnson or if Lamar finally returns from his ankle injury versus the Rams. But right here, they're going to throw the football a lot. The Rams, I think, are going to stop the run for the most part. And if the Rams get off to an early start, the Ravens are going to have to throw. And Rashad Bateman, obviously, he's going to get opportunity. Him and Hollywood Brown as the top two wide receivers on the roster. So right now, he's available in 63% of fantasy leagues. And he's definitely a receiver. I would give consideration and an add to on the wire this week. So that's a few wide receivers I looked at on the waiver wire for week 17 of the fantasy football season.